Well, the helicopter certainly brings back memories because uh, on one occasion in 1973, I was asked uh, by John Kennedy, the coach, would I play in the second or third last game it was when we still had a chance to make the finals. And uh, I hadn't played or trained for the, for the whole of 1972, except for the first half of the first game. And then I hadn't done anything in 1973. So it was almost two years without doing anything. So John Kennedy said, uh, I'll come down and see how you are. So he came down and I ran from one end of an oval to the other, blowing like a draft horse. And he, uh, John said, um, and anyone that know, uh, knew John would, would know what this means. He said, oh, a bit worse than I thought, he said. So, so I trained for a fortnight and then played in this game here against Collingwood with about 70 odd thousand people. Uh, but they said, well, what we'll do, when, when the decision was made I'd have a go at it, then I, um, uh, they said, well, we'll fly you over on Friday and uh, then we'll fly you back on Saturday, back to your hotel on Saturday. And I said, well, I can't come on Friday. And they said, well, I said, because Norman Gunson's appearing at my hotel and there's going to be such a big crowd. So they said, righto, that's OK. Not to be deterred, they said, we'll fly you over Saturday morning. Saturday morning comes along, I'm having a shave, getting ready to go to the airport to catch a flight, and I get a call from the opposition airlines to say, Peter, you're going to Melbourne today to play footy. Yep. Uh, your plane is not going to be able to get here to take you over. And I said, oh. And they said, but we've got a plane here that was diverted to Hobart, and if you can get down here post haste, we'll, uh, we'll take you over to Melbourne. So my wife and I got down to the airport, got on the plane, we were the only two on it, apart from the air hostesses, and away we went. Anyway, we landed and uh, uh, I came, flown out here to Waverley, played the game, um, and then back to the airport in the helicopter and back to my hotel. And Norman Gunston was appearing that night as well, so I got back uh, in time to see Norman Gunston. Yeah, so. How'd you go in the game? Had a pretty good outing? Yeah, I did. I, I, I say it and I mean it. I reckon five, I kicked eight goals. But I reckon five of them were flukes. <laughs> and I'm not afraid to say it because I shouldn't have, with, with a fortnight's training, I shouldn't have kicked eight. It's as simple as that. But, uh, but the gods, the football gods smiled on me and I thank them to this day. But the funny part is that it's been sort of regurgitated, the, the, the helicopter thing has been regurgitated for 50 years. But at the time, it didn't really occur to me that it was anything out of the ordinary. You sort of roll with the punches, but of course as time goes on, the story's probably getting a bit better and a bit better, so I'll live with it. <laughs>